Maria Taylor knows what a generational talent she is in the broadcasting world, so I don't even gotta go there and hype her up. Let's talk about the fact that she actually played basketball. And if you wanna go there, let's go there. Let's talk about how you're related to Diane Sawyer, arguably the queen of ABC. Nah, 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 you got your job as one of the faces of ESPN because you're so entertaining and talented and so good at it, right? You are a woman in the sports world and you sat there and you laughed about the Me Too movement. What really got me is you're tired of the Black Lives Matter movement because you weren't tired about posting about it or making your stupid little storybook monologues about it. Maybe instead of crying and calling Maria a diversity token, you can direct that energy to the people who think there can only be one woman on that stage. And if we're being real, Rachel Nichols is a subpar reporter. Subpar. What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Jalen Rose's daughter. Uh, her name is Mariah Rose. She made a TikTok video which she posted to Twitter where she's going in on Rachel Nichols. Now I made a few videos about Rachel Nichols and that situation. I'll link them in the description. I spoke about the initial situation between her and Maria Taylor going viral. And then I talked about how Steven Jackson was getting heat for defending her to the point to where he had to take down his original video defending her. And also uh, this video here, this video here, uh, I just find this whole situation to be hilarious because if anybody knows uh, this particular woman in Rachel Nichols knows that she's very much so woke. And the fact that she's getting called out by the woke mob is just is just very entertaining to me on a woke network like ESPN, right? And I just find it to be hilarious. And now you got Jalen Rose's daughter, and I'll probably have the video clip at the beginning. She's going in on Rachel Nichols. She brought up the fact that Maria Taylor uh, deserves to be where she's at because she says she's a generational talent. I don't agree with that. I think that... Maria Taylor is very much so replaceable. I think she does a good job, but I think she's replaceable. I don't think she's a generational talent. I don't agree with that at all. And she also brought up the fact that, you know, she played college sports. And also she brought up the fact that Rachel Nichols has a connection to Diane Sawyer. That's why I tell y'all, um, Rachel Nichols is not going anywhere. She has deep ties into the media sphere so if people think that espn is going to choose maria taylor over her then you're going to be disappointed because uh the, the roots that rachel nichols has in media is very deep and it doesn't matter how woke uh no matter how much y'all go at her she's not going nowhere that's why she did that apology on tv she apologized on tv because she was told to do that, but they're not gonna fire her. Um, and then she had Kendrick Perkins up there in a, in a way defending her, that's why he went viral. Listen, she's not going nowhere. She has a lot of connections. Look, she has, she was caught on audio discussing her situation with an affiliate of LeBron James. She was venting to a, an affiliate of LeBron James. So do you really think that this woman is gonna get fired or they're going to demote her at ESPN. Oh, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. People can be upset all they want to, but they know that y'all are going to move on to something else because that's what always happens. And because of the deep roots and ties that she has in media and all the connections she has in the NBA world, that's why you don't see her getting called out the way you would see other people get called, especially by these athletes. Where's LeBron James's take on this? Where's his take on it? Does he have one? So I want to see people who are sort of on the outside speaking about this and going off because they're looking at it and they're saying, you know what? This is highly unfair. Why would she say this about Maria Taylor? Maria Taylor is more talented than her. Uh, Maria Taylor deserves to be where she's at. Listen, Maria Taylor, again, she's done a good job for what they've asked her to do. And I don't feel like Rachel Nichols should be complaining because of what ESPN chose to do. It's not like Maria Taylor told ESPN, listen, you need to put me as lead on lead host on the NBA finals, or I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be angry. No, uh, Rachel Nichols threw a Caucasian liberal 
feminist fit and got in her feelings and didn't even know the camera equipment was on in her room and she's venting because she's like how dare them put this diversity higher i mean this uh this talented black female uh personality in my spot how dare you how dare you do this to me you know and that's that's their mindset rachel nichols represents the majority of these caucasian liberal feminists a lot of these women do not want black women taking their spots that's that's just that's just the truth they can get on here and they can pretend to be woke all they want to it's just a facade you see they're okay with those women taking other people's spots but they don't want those women taking their spots because they are fake they're fake and fraudulent uh, i believe maria taylor um understands that and again i i disagree with maria taylor on some some varying amounts of issues i, I disagree with her ideology i disagree with her race baiting but i feel like in this situation she was put in a bad spot i feel like she was put in a bad spot by espn and them trying to be super woke and it backfiring i don't think they had anything to do with maria taylor i think they had everything to do with the fact that rachel nichols threw a fit and got in her feelings and should have understood that when you go left like that you're gonna have to go all the way left you can't just go halfway left Diversity doesn't mean Caucasian woman anymore. Diversity means anybody who's not Caucasian. And these Caucasian liberal women are starting to figure that out. See, this is why a lot of y'all, not y'all that listening, but a lot of these people who are like, yes, yay, diversity. Understand that that diversity hammer is going to come in your direction. What are you going to do? And it, you could tell that she was not prepared for it. She did not want them taking from her and giving to somebody else. Because if she truly cared about diversity, she would have been like, okay, I'm cool with her getting that spot. And she would not have complained about it considering this whole situation was from the bubble. And y'all know all the racial tensions that were high last year. I can understand where ESPN just says, you know what, due to what's going on, we may have to put Maria Taylor there you know, due to the heightened tensions that are going on. But Rachel Nichols did not care about that because it was taking something away from her. Even though she could have hosted the finals this year or the year after, it just would have been this particular time period where they could have given her that spot and given that spot to somebody else because Rachel Nichols is woke, right? Rachel Nichols is one of these Caucasian liberals, right? You would think that she would understand, but she doesn't because Rachel Nichols is, is selfish. She's selfish. She's okay with everybody else getting their jobs taken, but except hers. Don't come for her stuff. And it was they don't come for her stuff. That's how that's how the majority of women like her feel. This isn't the minority. <laughs> this is how a lot of them feel. They don't want they don't want quote unquote you people getting anything of theirs, but they're okay with you taking other people's spots. They're okay with you living in other, you know, living in other people's nice neighborhoods. Just don't come to their nice neighborhood. That's how they feel about you. And I think that people are starting to figure people like this out. And they're starting to figure that she's full of it. And a lot of times when you're dealing with people like this, you have to understand that they're two-faced. I bet you she smiled a lot in maria taylor's face like she was cool with her but the first opportunity that she got to help her out in the sense she's like oh no oh no you're not you're not uh, you're not taking my spot you're not taking my spot and i just feel like you know espn did this to themselves espn did this to themselves and they put themselves in a situation where now they have to explain why this ever happened. They have to explain why you have somebody like Rachel Nichols, who's very tenured at ESPN. And the thing is about Rachel Nichols is that in a sense, she's, she, she's not unreplaceable, but she's somebody who is a noticeable face through all, all the changes that ESPN has had. 
ESPN has had a lot of changes over the years. She's one of the familiar faces who's been there for a long time. So when people watch that network, they say, oh, it's Rachel Nichols. I remember her from five years ago, 10 years ago. But when you look at the fact that they're in a way going to have to choose because they may end up having to choose. Maybe they, they, you know, it works out where they have it both ways where they can appease everybody. You're not going to be able to appease everybody. Rachel Nichols has way too many connections. And Maria Taylor has the Twitter vote of confidence. You even have Jalen Rose's daughter who might I add strongly favors them. I mean, they have, she has strong features. And you know that that's Jalen Rose's daughter. But you have all these people on the outside putting pressure on ESPN. What are you going to do, ESPN? Are you going to fold? Are you going to fold, ESPN? Are you going to fold to the woke mob? Are you going to do what's right? ESPN does not want to pay Maria Taylor more than $5 million a year. Maria Taylor wanted $8 million a year. And I think that was due to the situation that may have occurred with Rachel Nichols, but ESPN doesn't have that type of money. That's why they're letting people go. Maria Taylor is not Stephen A. Smith. She should not get Stephen A. Smith money. But at the end of the day, ESPN is going to have to choose. And they're going to need to choose what's right for that network instead of choosing what's right for Twitter. 